Anthony, my man, what is up, brother? This is your first time working with me, working with Holton Wise, and you got a whole slew of things you want to cover, and I'm also going to show you a property at the end here that I think is going to make a lot of sense for you, dog. But first, let's get through you a little bit, right? Because that's what this is about, man. It's about me and you working together. The deals are important, but first we got to figure out a strategy, figure out what's happening, let you know the plan of attack, right? So I'm just going to read your email to me. Uh, I'm just getting started in real estate investing and have very little experience. I've enrolled in several real estate courses have been bum ah, and have been watching a lot of your videos. Any insight into if this property would be a good deal for me would be greatly appreciated. I'm interested in doing Section 8. I have the crime map of the Cleveland area and have priced out comps in the area. I just don't know what the next steps are. Uh, should be before pulling the trigger. Should I work on finding my core four first? Do you have any general contractors you would recommend? If you could do a video on this property below or find something else that would be a good starter, that would be awesome. Doesn't have to be the perfect deal, but if there are projects where 20 or 30 grand would get me cash flowing, I would be happy. All right, Anthony, my man. First of all, uh, I didn't do, this video is not on that property. This video is on one I found for you that I think is going to be perfect. I got a property that I'm going to show you uh, later on here that's only going to require 28 grand. You said you want to be all in for 20 or 30. I think this would be a perfect starter. But before we even get into that, let's go over some stuff here, right? Uh, when you work with Holton Wise, brother, we do it all, man. You don't need a core four, folks. If you ever heard of the core four, that is a real estate agent, a property manager, a lender, and I think the fourth one was like an insurance person. Maybe it was uh, uh, an inspector. Uh, I don't remember. Don't matter. Holton Wise does it all, folks. Does it all. Anthony, here's what we're going to do, bro. I will be your real estate broker. So first, we'll give you education here on the show, so then I'm going to identify properties for you like I've done today. You want to be within 20 to 30K as your down payment? All good. The property I got for you is going to require 28K. Check. Then, I'll represent you in the sale if you want to make an offer. I'll be your broker. Then Holton Wise will handle your property management. And guess what, dude? We do full service construction, maintenance, landscaping, the whole nine, tenant screening, tenant leasing. We do it all. We have everything set up for you. We even do insurance as well. So we'll be able to give you uh, an insurance quote and provide you an insurance property. So literally, we're your core four plus several more all wrapped into one, okay? Now, as far as lenders, uh, when I shoot you this video privately, I'll also include a link to a lender list, right? These are a bunch of lenders uh, that you could speak with to get yourself pre-approved. Once you get that pre-approval letter, if you're interested in this particular property, let me know. I'll make the offer. Uh, we'll set you up with a home inspector, uh, third party, to go ahead and get it inspected. We'll help coordinate that. And then after you get your inspection, you'll shoot the information back to me and me and you will renegotiate possibly with the seller uh, going back and forth. Then after that, we'll release contingencies. I'll get you an insurance quote. We'll get your insurance set up. Then when we close, my property management department will take over. And then if there's any repairs ever needed, we'll handle all that. Right. So we got you all set up, bro. So it's all one stop shop, man. And everybody else, if you're watching this show, this property I'm about to present to Anthony here. Uh, you could not bid on this one. I only released these publicly on Holton Wise TV well after the fact, right? So anybody watching this right now, you're probably watching this six months, 12 months, 18 months after I sent this to Anthony uh, with a private link, which, of course, Anthony, is going to have that list of lender referrals for you. Uh, so without further ado, brother, uh, oh, one other thing, too. Uh, well, I'll touch on to it uh, later in the video, right? Uh, you asked me about a crime map. I'll talk to you about the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Uh, I'll get into that when I do some more numbers on this particular analysis. Let's check all that out now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help investors like you analyze rental properties in the Cleveland market. And today we are knocking out this one right here in Garfield Heights. All right, this one 
is uh, looking pretty good. All right, the address is 4653 Blythen Road, Garfield Heights, Ohio, 44125. It's been on the market for four days, priced at $99.9. Now, the rent roll on this sucker is pretty massive, right? What we're bringing in here is eight. 89 from the 2 1 and 850 from the 3 1. So obviously, that 3 1 we could even increase, right? Uh, these are subsidized tenants, okay? So you're getting government guaranteed rent. So we're bringing in a total of 1739 or almost 21K for the year. Now, as far as location, this property right here, Garfield Heights, folks, this is what I would consider uh, like a high C, low B grade uh, suburb in the Cleveland market, right? If you don't know what I mean when I say BC grade, I want you to check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I got a link to that below. You can check it out on the tools and resources tab of HoltonWise.com. Uh, or you can just Google the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It pops up everywhere, right? I graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale uh, based upon risk, right? Based upon... Uh, how much risk you're going to see in a particular neighborhood, risk of crime, risk of non-payment, things of that nature, right? Every single real estate strategy is going to do better or worse depending on the type of asset class you invest in, right? Like specifically, I think flips work better in A neighborhoods where you're dealing with more owner-occupied buyers and you're dealing with much higher ARVs. Uh, Section 8 rentals, I think, make the most sense in like your C, your D neighborhoods, right? B is a nice mix, right? You start to get some safety uh, in the neighborhoods, lower crime, but it's still going to be price to rent ratios that make sense from a cash flow perspective. So in this particular area, we have like a nice mix of cash paying tenants versus uh, your subsidized tenants, right? So if you can get a well-priced property in like a B neighborhood, you definitely should, right? Which is why this particular property, I don't think you'll actually be able to buy it for $99.9, which is what the sellers have listed it for. I believe we're actually going to have to bid a little bit higher. I think we're going to have to go up to about 115 because the numbers just make sense, right? 1739 comes in after Holton Wise does all your property management, all your maintenance, all your construction, everything. We even insure the property for you so you don't have to worry about anything. We do everything fully turnkey, completely passive for you. Your true net should be, I'm guesstimating around 10 grand a year. 10,405 a year is a good average, right? Now, this is the best part. You only need about $28,000, right? Bank's going to kick in the majority of it. The 86, you only put in 28, and this whole thing would project out to a 21% cash on cash return. And as far as what the property looks like on the interior, it's nothing fancy, nothing special. I mean, these are going to be subsidized tenants, so don't expect. Uh, to be getting like the Taj Mahal or anything, right? You see, it's a little plain Jane. It's a little messy, but your important things, right? Like your hot water tank here, that's pretty darn new. Those cost about 1200 to replace, and they last over 15, you, they last about 15 years, right? So you're dropping like 1200 right? That CapEx line item you saw in my chart there, that's where it's going, things like this. But you don't really have to worry about that for a while because you got a pretty new, uh, two basically brand new looking hot water tanks, okay? And that's a pretty good looking furnace. I bet you that's only about 10 years old. Same thing with this one. Furnaces last about 30 years, cost like 3500 to replace. You got updated electrical. So like the big ticket items and stuff, all taken care of. You already got the intense amount of cash flow coming in. You even get yourself the uh, car with uh, the wheels getting fixed there. But all told, it's looking like a pretty good property. So I think the price point we want to go here is 115 to try to take it down so you can get all that cash flow because there's definitely going to be other buyers. And as far as the city point of sale requirements, uh, if you've never heard that term before, in the notes below, I got a link uh, to a video that explains point of sale. The city of Cleveland itself, they got those lead certs. You don't have to deal with those here in this city, but you do deal with point of sale stuff. So check out that video. Uh, we're going to want to try to negotiate the seller providing this property completely point of sale clear. I don't believe the seller has ordered it yet. Uh, sometimes you get agents that aren't actually aware that there is point of sale requirements. The point of sale can be a little tricky. So again, you want to check out that video, but we're going to try to eliminate the trickiness of that problem for you by trying to get the seller to agree to do it so we don't have to make a blind bid bidding on unknowns. And then if it turns out after the seller goes through part of the point of sale process, say we got them to agree to 115, 
uh, point of sale clear, and then they get halfway through trying to clear off the POS, and there's 10K left in repairs, and they can't figure it out, or it's just not for them. You guys got to remember, not all sellers that are selling you properties are professional sellers, professional rehabbers. It's cool. You still have the Holton Wise team, so we can go in and at that point negotiate like, oh, okay, you can't do the repairs like you said you would. All right, instead of 115, give it to us for 100. Uh, you're going to pay a little 5K extra tax. We'll assume those repairs, and then Holton Wise will handle them after it closes, right? So we can kind of get into things when we're a little more pot committed and uh, possibly turn it off into an even better deal for you, right? Because that's the thing. When a seller orders a point of sale inspection report, whether or not they sell the property, they still are given a certain amount of time to handle those violations. And some sellers don't have the money to do that. So the city really kind of gets their teeth into them and ties them in and is going to like force the sale. So uh, six, uh, six one way, half dozen the other way. Uh, if we can get them to agree to 115 clear POS, and then we have to change that a little bit later, I only see it uh, going good for you because you have the Holton Wise team behind you to do everything. So all told, solid property would be a great investment, would be safe. I think you'd make a lot of money, would fit perfectly in your portfolio. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.